Hi guys, my name is Fai, I'm a qualified nutritionist and naturopath and today I'm going to speak to you about sleep because I've had such little in the last seven days. My oldest has been in and out of hospital and it's meant I'm most of the night sitting up with him on a couch. Let's start talking about the different stages of sleep. Um, there are four stages in sleep um, and that comprises one sleep cycle. You go through many sleep cycles in a night, T tends to be between five and seven, but again this varies per person. Um, and, and different factors. So stage one, also known as N1, is when your body first starts falling asleep, you kind of go through a very, very light sleep and you're very easily awoken in this phase. Stage two, known as N2, is where the body temperature starts dropping, certain processes started slowing down in your body um, and you're hitting a more um, subdued level of sleep. Stage three, also known as deep sleep or N3, is where your body is going through restorative processes. This is so important. Hitting deep sleep is key. In this phase, you will go through like immune system strengthening and things like that. Your brain will hit delta waves. Now waves and brain waves are something I'll talk about in another session, but delta waves are very, very relaxing and lots of different processes in your brain. And the final stage is REM sleep, known as rapid eye movements. Um, in this phase, you have vivid dreams, so you do dream, there's a misconception that you only dream in this phase, but that's not true. You dream throughout the different phases. However, in this stage in particular, it's very vivid dreams. Um, again, your body almost goes through an atonia, which is like a paralysis, and it's only your eye movements and your breathing that are fully kind of going. Some tips on how to optimize your sleep and how to ensure you're getting the best quality of sleep. Number one, you need to aim for seven to nine hours of sleep a night. Now, again, this is going to vary per person. Um, you want to ensure that you're having dinner at least two hours before you're sleeping, because when you lie down, you're disrupting the digestive sort of processes. Um, also, you want to ensure that you've got a dark room, like you want to have blackout blinds or curtains. So you also want to ensure you are not surrounded by blue light, so screens and laptops and things like that, phones before you sleep because this really disrupts your sleep. There are certain chemicals in our brains um, and in our body so that will be disrupted by that. So melatonin is the sleep hormone and if to produce melatonin you need darkness. That's one very key thing. Tryptophan, which is an amino acid, you get through your food in things like poultry, in salmon, in milk, in seeds, in spinach. Um, is so key to sleep and good sleep. So tryptophan goes into our bodies and without going through all the boring stuff, um, it goes into our bodies and it converts from tryptophan into something called serotonin, which is also in our gut and a tiny amount is in our brain. But then that converts to melatonin. And melatonin is the good stuff we need to sleep. Now, to do that and to do it efficiently, the secret is to have tryptophan-based foods. You can Google that, tryptophan-based foods with a little bit of carbs, because the carbs allow it to go through our blood-brain barrier, ignore all the information you don't want to hear. All you want to know is tryptophan-rich foods, have it with a good carb source. Also, you can delve into lots of herbal teas that are already conjured up and made and ready to buy, so go for a good quality one. Um, something like chamomile or lavender, valerian, which absolutely knocks me out, so be careful with that. Just make sure you don't have any allergies or any like sort of sensitivities to anything. I hope you found these tips useful. Um, if you did, please like, subscribe and share. Um, thank you for now.